pretty. Who would be mad at that? I love that. Hi Vogue, I'm Liz Gillies. Watch me do my take on a Hollywood glamour look. I always like to start out with a toner. I have sensitive skin, so I don't like to use things that are too harsh. The next thing I like to do is use a little serum. See? You can barely see it. This one really brightens and it's really good. I use this before bed too, so I'm not gonna go crazy right now. My makeup artist will tell you every day before I play Fallon, this cream goes on my face, even if we skip the other steps. A little indulgent thing I like to do at work, particularly when I haven't slept, which I never, ever sleep. I didn't even sleep last night is use these little guys that go under your eye. I love showing up in rehearsal with these guys. I'm gonna put a little bit of this eyeshadow primer on. And I use my hands, by the way. I do have brushes, of course, but I love to use my hands. She's ready for shadow. Nice and light, clean base. We are gonna go in with like a medium-y brown. Don't worry if it gets everywhere. This next color, a little darker, but still peachy. Still in the family. I kind of look like a superhero right now. But like a superhero with no powers. I'm gonna use this little flat brush. So pink. And I'm gonna use a darker color. Following the crease. We're going in for a little bit of a contour in the lid. It may look a little heavy, but we're toning it all down. We're just kind of getting the shapes down, and then we can go in and fine tune. We're doing a bit of a sort of a 60s eye. All of my eyes have liner, and that is my main thing. Are we terrified yet? Because I am. I like to come out a little bit. I don't like to start right on my eye. And then I go right up to how I want it. Look at that clean line, pretty good. We want it to grow. I always was obsessed with Angelina Jolie's cat eye, so I always kind of use that as a template. Off they come. Oh, but my eyes feel so good. Work. I like to figure out what I'm doing at the end and then start in the center of my eye and let it grow from there. Okay. We're not doing a crazy look today. This is kind of my everyday look. And this is always our starting point at work for Fallon. She always has winged eyeliner. I always do it myself. I also do my brows myself and my lip liner myself. Just a little brown pencil. We're just gonna go in. It just really takes the sharp lines away. And I'm gonna meet it under here. Okay, now we really have a good little eye forming. Now I'm gonna go back in to the eyeshadow. It's gonna look like that. And we're gonna blend it in with the corner of the eye, with the eyeliner. How high we stand a blended eye. I take my finger, go back to the lightest color, pop the eye. So now we're just putting a little bit of light eyeshadow in the center of the eye to pop the eye open. So it's gonna look a little crazy, but we're gonna go in. You know when you're at this point, your boyfriend walks in and he's like, oh, you wear a mask every day. That's good to know. I took a little bit of the cream foundation and now we're gonna blend her in, kind of like moisturizer. Sensitive area. A little history about me and my eyebrows. I had thick eyebrows and then I saw Jennifer's body and I saw Megan Fox's eyebrows. So I made my eyebrows the thinnest they could possibly go and guess what, I didn't look like Megan Fox. My eyebrows are naturally so dark. I use this guy to kind of just brighten them up a little bit. Make sure it's even. I remember when I was on Broadway with Ariana, we shared a dressing room and they came in one day and they're like, hey, we don't have anybody to do your makeup. And I remember the both of us learning how to do smoky eyes and, um, you know, buying all the brushes and everything. And we just kind of fell in love with this. So we're kind of two old drag queens, a little brightener. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is cream contour. I take the darker guy and I go right here. Super subtle. 
It blends right out. Nothing to be afraid of. Put it on the brim of my nose. And then this guy to bring it up. Let's blend it out with a brush. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. We're gonna do some powder. I just blinked in a snowstorm of powder. My eye will certainly not be shiny now. What I do next is I go in with a little powder bronzer. Really blend it, so important. I know not everyone has the same face shape as me where I like to apply it are kind of the classic areas. A little bit of blush. Not too much. So peachy, so cute. There's one more thing for my face that I like to use. Sometimes I aim a little lower in this region for my cheeks. Sparkly, sparkly. Just because we're being extra today. Oh yeah, that opens up the eye. This is a little bit dated, but I kind of like it under the brow. Lashes can kind of be a pain. A lot of people do it with their hands. I like to use a tweezer. Now, this can be a very dangerous game. I like to pinch them after, once it's a little bit dry. And I'm gonna add one more guy. Put him right at the end. Oh yeah. They have to set for a second. And now, I'll do my lips. I like filling in the liner over your whole lip. Even if you're gonna wear a lipstick, helps it blend. Ugh. Is it not the perfect color? Okay. Just do a little bit of mascara. See that clump? We hate you, we hate you, we hate you. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Okay, I'll take it. She's pretty sharp. Yeah, I'm not mad at it. This is my favorite type of look, warm peaches, a little bit retro, a little bit Hollywood. I love it. Um, yeah, I feel good. Hi Vogue, I'm Liz Gillies. To watch more Vogue videos, subscribe here.